out there, welcome to Football Everyday. In the studio with me, we got the usual crew, Nivash and Ian. My buddies here to talk to me about football, World Cup football, of course. Now, before we get into the chat, I want to give our contest a shout out. Stand yourself a chance to win some Adidas merchandise. In fact, a pair of the latest Adidas Battle Pack footwear. All you have to do is send in a photo or video selfie of yourself and your pals enjoying the World Cup. I tell you, we've had some brilliant entries. So you want to win some Adidas merchandise, that's what you have to do. Send in your entries to football.star.com.my or alternatively, you can tweet us at switchup.tv. All right, well, last night we saw the second of the semifinals. It wasn't like uh, the, the one before, that's for sure. It was more of a gritty match which saw Argentina edging out the Dutch on penalties. Now, Nivaj, the Dutch World Cup penalty shout curse came back to haunt them again deserve win for the Argies? Uh, I wouldn't say they, they deserve to win but mm. that's football you know yeah. uh, it's, a, it's a cruel cruel game and if you're not doing anything in the first 120 minutes then it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a lottery you know uh, I guess I guess the Argentinians kept calm and, uh, uh, and beautiful save for that second that second save mm. it was a very well taken penalty but you know it, it's football mm. it's cruel well, I, I tell you what, right, an interesting bit of trivia. Now, it, for the Dutch, it's a cruel exit, of course. You know, they must have thought after uh, beating Costa Rica on penalties that they're going to get rid of that curse. But Ian, mate, check this one out. Apparently, Van Gaal said that uh, two of his players actually declined to take the first penalty, hence Ron Vlaar stepping up. Now, now, what do you think about this kind of thing <laughs> in the high stakes football, like the World Cup semi final? Yeah? That's odd, considering coming. From Van Hal, he's yeah. quite the uh, autocratic yeah. manager, right? He would have just yeah. told him, "No, you're taking penalty, whether you like it or not." Mm -mm. To have Ron Vlaar take your first penalty—that's quite odd. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure maybe he's a penalty expert or something like. Well, <laughs> well anyway, he went on. Van Hal went on to praise uh, his team for a fantastic tournament yeah. overall. But you know, Nivash, I mean, we 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 talked about this before. We started filming today. Now it's disappointing from the Dutch because they really didn't do enough in the attacking third. Really, I mean, final ball was poor. Robin had a quiet one. You agree with that? Yeah, and interest. Interestingly, it's against the Argentinians who've been. I mean, the defense has been suspect all the while. Yeah. So um, I guess it's a bit of both as well. The the Argentinian defense also stepped up their game. They 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 were playing as a unit and. Uh, I guess I guess fatigue also was kicking in for for most of the players. Yeah. You know, it's it's hot and uh, you know, they've not had a break. Especially uh, most of the players who have been playing in Europe, they had the Champions League. They they're playing consistently. I think this is already their sixtieth game of the season yeah, for some yeah. of them. Yeah. So you know, a lot of factors as well. Okay, well you know, um, Ian, I want to ask you about the difference between the two sides now. Prior to the game, everyone's going on about Messi versus Robin, but yeah. in the end, you know, them two were pretty quiet on the whole. It was more of a, a chess match. Now, what do you think made the difference in the end, you know, for the Archers? Yeah. Besides yeah. having a great goalkeeper <laughs> between the <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think we were both, we were, we've all been talking about how, um, I mean, that was what we were saying the last episode that, that yeah. we were on, mm. that the key to lock, to, to keeping the RGs at bay mm. is just lock down on, uh, on Messi, which mm. is what Louis van Gaal would mm. base his whole system and, and structure around. To a certain extent, I guess it was successful. Mm. But then again, they just both cancel each other out. Yeah. And I think uh, Di Michelis came out and said, yeah. as well, said as well, we know how to stop Robin, we're going to stop Robin, and that's going to be end of the story as well. Yeah. So it's funny that both did the exact <laughs> same thing. We came out with yeah. a very, very boring semi-final. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, it, it was a tense one, but before we go, a few stats about that semi-final, lads. Now, last night's nil-nil was the first ever goalless semi-final. <laughs> Nir yeah. mate, you've watched tons of World Cup. Yeah. Can you, do you believe that that was the first ever goalless semi-final? It's hard to believe, huh? Uh, I mean, especially when you, uh, in the 90s, you know, when, when a lot of teams were starting to become more tactically savvy, yeah. they, they, they were playing tight, they don't want to concede. And the Italians, the, you know, the Italians were known for, you know, yeah, shutting yeah. people out yeah, yeah. and not having the flat to go out and score. But yeah, interesting. Yeah. Well, we are the fax machine here <laughs> on Football Every Day. Anyway, we're going to take a little break. When we come back, more football chat. So keep it locked right here on Football Every Day. Come here, I mean, they... 
footballing or nothing. It's a battle cry. Call to arms. The only way to live. The only way to play. It fuels them into battle. They step onto the field wearing war paint. Unleashing speed, energy and control. Bearing the marks of those that know there is only one way. Hunt or be hunted. Fear or be feared. Evolve or die. Black or white. there welcome back to football every day well it's all settled folks we know who's going to be contesting in this year's world cup final it's going to be between argentina and germany now it's going to be a repeat of the 1986 and 1990 finals and it's the first time the same two teams who have faced each other three times in the title decider right okay facts and stats aside now lads mate i i want i want to ask you now with two teams settled already in the rush managers have already started turning their thoughts to the big match now Argentina's uh, Sabella he said that Germany's freshness are gonna hand them a considerable advantage basically they've had an extra day's rest now do you think this is gonna be a deciding factor like no says no it is? not at all I mean it's a World Cup final you know it really doesn't matter you can you can take away everything else it's going to be the players they're going to be pumped up I mean right. you don't you don't need to say anything in the in the locker room mm -hmm. you know players as as Kids, you know, if you want to be a professional football player, this is the moment you dream of. You know, Messi wants to become, you know, the legend. He wants to, he wants to be right up there with Maradona until he lifts the cup. Yeah. They are not gonna. So he's he's definitely gonna be motivated, and I'm assuming everyone else. Brilliant. Well, very astute comment there because, you know, word is that time has come in for Messi to put his name in the history books, and like Neymar says, the only way he's gonna do that is to. Win the World Cup, you know, be alongside Maradona and Pele. Now, Messi has won everything in club football, but this is the one that is eluded yeah, him. Do you yeah. think that, you know, this extra Messi has got to be great, all this thing, is adding a bit of pressure on the little man? It, I think it kind of shows as well. Mm. Like when you're talking about World Cup stars, uh, you, you want stars that really, like James Rodriguez, he's just playing with a smile on his face. Yeah, yeah. He's, he, when he plays, you know, it brings joy to the fans. Yeah. Messi, he's been great, you know. He's been mm. efficient. Uh, he's been going about doing his business. He's been dropping deep and linking up play, doing these very intelligent things. But you don't get the joy from it, you know. Yeah. When you're watching it, you kind of feel like he's he's being, he's being uh, like dragged down by his teammates. Yeah. Well, you know, it yeah. is a stressful business, you know, being yeah, a talisman yeah. mm -hmm. for your, your country. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't feel the, the charm and the romanticism over, over Messi's story anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. just looking at it thinking, oh, it's... Must be horrible being him. <laughs> yeah. Very terrible. Yeah. And and yeah, it's true. You know, he knows that this is the def the defining stage in his career. Mm -hmm. Whether he becomes the greatest player ever, which yeah. honestly I think he is. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's playing in a much more difficult game these days, and yeah. he's, yeah. he's steamrolling opponents for the past few years. So I hope he I hope he gets it. But at the same time, I have to say it hasn't been fun watching him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, very astute comments there. Well, one thing, you know, to be fair to Messi, mate. I mean. He's looked like not only Argentina's main man, but he's also, you know, delivered. I mean, he's had goals, he's had assists, and when he's on the field, he does look like a leader. But do you think that, uh, um, you know, Argentina's been handling this a bit better than, say, the Brazilians? You know, no, no crying. I mean, we, we talked about the <laughs> yeah. whole Neymar infatuation. Yeah. I mean, Argentina hasn't quite done that with Messi, right? Yep. You know? I, I guess, I guess Brazil. It's it's a lot of pressure from the fans as well. You know, it's it's home soil. Yeah. You know, a lot of things been happening off the pitch. Uh, the the this, this must be like salt in the wounds, yeah. right? You see Argentina uh, go to yeah. America. Now. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, and uh, I see a lot of my Brazilian f uh, friends. You know, they are they are actually really going all out to support the Germans. Yeah. There's no way they're gonna they're gonna let uh, the yeah. Argentinians win it there. Mm -hmm. So. You know, you don't be surprised if, 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 despite you know Argentina bordering uh, Brazil, 
but the Germans feel at home. <laughs> yeah, mm. well, well, and you know, it, it's weird, like, to me, that Germany must be uh, strong favorites for this game, but Nevaj just uh, shared with me, yeah. the bookies think otherwise, you know, the bookie is still placing Argentina as favorites for this match. Now, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, Germany going there with a day's extra rest on the back of a 7-1 thrashing, yeah. Yeah, their confidence is sky high in the Germany camp. Yeah, I think I mm -hmm. actually have to disagree with you. Uh, I think that the fitness issue is going to be huge. Mm -hmm. I think the Germans, when um, they're so efficient, if you get, if you have them 100%, especially, I mean, come on, that game against Brazil was a stroll in the park. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they are very, very fresh. I think that it makes a big difference in the kind of climate they're in, with the mm -hmm. humidity and everything. Mm -hmm. So. In, in, in the modern game, that's all. That's what it's all about, right? Mm -mm. So uh, I, I would have to say Germans are our favorites here. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, well, well Nivas, you know, uh, you're a Brazil fan. Now, you think the crowd's gonna play a factor? I mean, you know, we're, we're talking Maracanã, you know, Brazil's <laughs> temple of football. Surely they're gonna be giving. Yeah. It's gonna be like a German home game, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely, because um, I, I see a lot of my friends sharing images from that seven-one game, and we were talking about it that. They didn't even celebrate the last two goals, yeah. you know. And uh, you know, Brazilians they they they, um, they are very passionate people, and uh, they are very respectful, and they they enjoy these kind of things, and they they felt the love from the from the German fans as well. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of images going around of kids I hugging saw that each other. They were applauding I mean, yeah. uh, Schuler's, uh, last yeah. brilliant effort. You know? And, and, and they hit, <laughs> and they hit Argentinians. And they're not going to let them celebrate. It's they're going to come out in full force. So and would, that, would that be a factor for the Argentinians? I mean, you know, you know, we have seen how the crowd has worked on the Brazilian players. Yeah. You know, in an adverse way, this this could be the same for the Argentinians. No, I don't think so. Because the 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 German players, I I was just reading a report. They said they are not putting pressure on themselves. They every time they they do something they. Mm. It's an overachievement, but this time around, you know, they, they come in, they're not going to put pressure. They are an European team playing in South America, people are going to write them down, you know, like the bookies, right? They are, the bookies are putting Argent the Argentinians as favourites. Yeah. So, they might, they'll go in with an underdog mindset and, you know, don't surprise everyone, man. Okay. Well, well, lads, you know, we're going to get into this a lot deeper in uh, shows to come, but uh, just before we go in, mate, your last thoughts on, on this final a tasty one for you? I, I'm gonna go for Germany. Just the cold, hard <laughs> efficiency and ruthlessness <laughs> of that team. So impressive. Muller up front, amazing. Okay. So I think I think they're gonna win this. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Well, we we'll, like I said, we're gonna get into it in more detail in coming shows. But before we go, I wanna give our contest a shout out. Like we got some great shots. I'm telling you, great great shots from Mr. Skanta Pushpanadan. Thank you very much, Skanta. Who was lucky enough to head over to check out. The World Cup in Brazil, the lucky man got to go to Recife and Natal and he took the trouble to send us some shots of his time in Brazil, so check it out. This is a very lucky man enjoying his World Cup. Fantastic stuff there, thank you very much Mr. Skanta Puspanadan. Look out, if you want to win yourself some Adidas merchandise, it's dead easy. Send yourself in a photo or a video selfie of yourself and your pals enjoying the World Cup. Send it to us here at Football every day, football at the star .com .my. Alternatively, tweet us at switchup.tv. Okay, that's us done. Until next time, enjoy your football. Yeah.